So let's check in now with Ron Hilliard for the latest the forecast. Hey, Ron. It is absolutely stunning out there. This is that beautiful view of Detroit coming from Windsor. You can see the blue skies. Look at that. The Detroit River is very nice as people are out there right now. The temperature is 62 degrees. It is not as warm as it was yesterday, but it is still a warm and comfortable day. Those winds are light out there right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Some other regional temperatures were a little bit cooler as you go up toward the north 58 in Sandusky 61 in Port Huron at 57 in Mount Clemens. But many of us in the lower to mid 60s across the area and those temperatures pushing up closer and closer to to the upper 60s and the warmest locations touching 70 today. Right now, a 70 degree reading coming in for the west side of the state. South Haven has that 70 degree reading. So clouds and radar. We are looking very good out there with mostly sunny conditions all over southeast Michigan. And for the majority of the lower peninsula, as you go across the Midwest, a similar scenario in most places. Things are quiet in a lot of places. A few rain showers over toward the Dakotas and Minnesota. Otherwise, it is quiet out there. This is what we have in store for us. Clouds radar forecast staying mostly clear as we go into the evening hours and nighttime hours and things even tomorrow will be OK. We will have periods of sunshine and clouds as well. It's going to be partly cloudy in the morning. As we get later into the day, we will start to see a few of those clouds building. And finally, as we get into tomorrow night, that's when we start to see the approach of a few showers roll into our area. That's going to be in a lot of places after midnight, and we'll see that in the overnight hours. And then as we progress into our Wednesday, we have rain throughout the day and it is going to be windy out there. So here's another way of looking at it is that it's crossing our state. We have those rain showers moving through. We will still see some of those rain showers Wednesday morning and then in the afternoon hours. Another line comes through in the afternoon and evening hours and some of those could bring some gusty winds and heavy rain. So right now portions of southeast Michigan could potentially see some of those gusty winds as we get into Wednesday afternoon. The areas that could potentially see those strong winds and some of those storms becoming on the stronger side, primarily south of M59 here in Metro Detroit. And we are under the lowest category level. That's one out of five, the marginal risk level. And as you go farther toward the south into Indiana and Ohio, that's where you could see the risk going up just a little bit, just slightly. So here's what we have for us this afternoon. Those temperatures pushing into the upper 60s across the area with a couple locations touching 70 degrees. Texas Rangers versus Tigers downtown. We we are going to see those temperatures in the upper 60s. Very nice conditions out there with a light breeze. It is going to be comfortable tonight. Temperatures falling down to the mid 40s. We're at 46. It is mostly clear out there. Then tomorrow it is a little bit cooler. Highs around 66 degrees. Those clouds start increasing as we get into the evening hours and then those rain showers coming late at night and the overnight hours. So today with those temperatures at a max around 70 degrees, we have those cooling temperatures for tomorrow, the rain showers and thunderstorms for Wednesday and then the showers lingering into Thursday. A spotty shower is possible early on Friday morning. Otherwise, temperatures topping out around 60 degrees. We go into the weekend dry with temperatures in the 50s. Those overnight lows cooling down as well. Now I mentioned that we had that potential for a few storms getting on the stronger side as we head into Wednesday. Wednesday. You will potentially see some storms throughout the season if you don't see it on Wednesday. Outdoor warning sirens, if unscheduled, probably motivate you to take shelter. They alert for tornadoes and some communities sound them when thunderstorms are expected to be particularly damaging. But most severe thunderstorms will never prompt a siren and you might not take the warnings for them seriously. But here's why you might want to rethink that. After the snow and cold of winter, then it's severe weather season. And you shouldn't have to wait for this sound to take storms seriously. A severe thunderstorm warning is issued when a storm is capable of producing winds of at least 58 miles per hour and or hail of at least an inch in diameter. That's the size of a quarter. The wind speeds and hail sizes can go up from there just as the winds did on July 26, 2023. The rain was coming hard and then the wind just kicked in and everything was going pretty much horizontal. It was going sideways. I saw branches. Uh, furniture. A line of powerful thunderstorms swept across southeast Michigan that summer afternoon, hitting hard the Ann Arbor and Detroit areas, including Rufford Township, where Rosemary Bassett lives with her wife. When it was all said and done, that's when we saw all of this damage that we've got here, all these trees down. Um, they took out both of our vehicles. We've got damage to both of our vehicles. It looks like it's pretty extensive and it was just unreal. After straight line thunderstorm winds of up to 80 miles per hour, the damage was comparable to what you might see from a weak tornado, like this Rufford house banged up and littered with tree limbs. Fortunately, this man and his parakeet emerged unscathed, not far away 
all the branches and and tree stuff from my neighbors in the front yard just flew straight north into uh, this yard and in my backyard perfectly clean the same cannot be said for dan haas's car i get hit right here and just caused shock damage throughout the whole rear window the damage was a shock for marcella's head who was about to move himself and his family into their new home plan for tomorrow was to move uh, I can't do it now. No power. Trees are down. But some storms go down in the books. We are covering the killer storms of 1997. Certainly this has been a, a day of destruction that will last a lifetime. July 2nd, 1997. 13 separate tornadoes touched down in southeast Michigan, the most ever on a single day for the region. Tragically, the tornadoes killed two and injured about 100 people. But the straight line winds added to the casualties. In Gross Point Farms by Lake St. Clair, a family had sought shelter from the approaching storm in a gazebo when 100 mile per hour winds blew it into the lake. Five people drowned and eight were hurt. The next spring, May 31st, 1998, a large line of severe thunderstorms impacting communities over hundreds of miles, known as a derecho, raced across the state with winds of 60 to 90 miles per hour. More than 800,000 customers lost power statewide, and fallen trees damaged thousands of homes, including here in Metro Detroit. And nearly every severe weather season, thunderstorms remind us that even without a tornado, they can deal a blow. This is one heck of a storm. In addition to dangerously high winds and dangerously large hail, thunderstorms bring lightning and occasionally flood concerns. That being said, whether there is a warning or not for your location, if you ever feel unsafe by the weather, go with your gut and take shelter. Christy? It's a great story. Thanks so much, Ron. Appreciate it. Have a good afternoon. Same to you.